Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, so the last thing I was doing was the, uh, the, the wiring for the front uh, controls. So I did that, put the bars back on, then I realized I wanted to upgrade my springs that I got from uh, Sport Evolution in Germany. And uh, the reason I'm upgrading these is because I cut about 120 mils off this fork. And in doing so, uh, I had to cut my stock fork, which I did, but the tension um, of this stock spring now is kind of compromised. So I ordered up theirs, which are a little bit stiffer and they're made for this application. So the four inches cut off, this is what I put in, <clears throat> along with the spacer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attempt to push this down. And if you look in here, these forks have, uh, this is the cap basically that holds the, the, the spring inside the, inside the shock. And right around here is a little silver ring. And I'm going to push down on this Allen wrench or this key, and then I'm going to try to pop that out and not let this shoot across the room. So in doing so, it's kind of a two-man operation. Um, and I have to get in here to pop that spring out, which is kind of just running around. because they did a real nice job machining it. So I think I might have to have somebody help me because I just can't get it out of there. But last time it was a little bit easier. And this time, oh, here we go, no. escaping. I'm trying to use the the plunger as a tool to help it get out of that groove. But it's a heck of a good groove. And my pick just hmm. well let me try something else here. I'm gonna have to use <clears throat> last time I did this it was all on the ground so I could put my weight on it. Um, but I'm just going to try to use a screwdriver instead of a pick. And then I've lost my wrench. So let's get the screwdriver in there. We have to get a third person in here. Or a second. Or a second. <laughs> Somebody. One's filming. Okay, let me help you. Yeah. Be right back. Okay, I got it. As soon as she was going to help me, uh, I, it popped out. So here, you'll see I got the... I got the ring. I'm still applying pressure to the plunger. So I got the, the snap ring out and I'm going to slowly let this out. You can see it. I'm just twisting it and that's it. So there it is. Here's the plunger. New O-ring on there. Um, we're going to, if you can look in here, there's the, yep. So this is all new when I rebuilt the forks. I put new O-rings on there. Here is the inside of the strut. Um, I'm going to pull out this plunger here, so that one, and then the original spring is down there a little bit. I will get my hook and try to hook it. Oh, oh, there it is. I'm trying to do this by feel while she's filming. Okay, it's going to be a little bit messy. So there's a Spray, uh, spacer on top of there and that's that so this is the original and you can see where I cut it off and this is the new one so I got a lot of compression to do when I put this in there so I'm gonna put this new spring back in 
goes all the way down. You put this spacer on there or washer, and that's flat in there now. And then I put their new little goodies on there. And then we just go in reverse order here. Uh, put the plunger back in. I always have a little bit of lube on that plunger. And then I'm going to stick that down there. Put the ring, the snap ring in. A little bit of pressure. And I'm going to use my pick and just push it in the groove. Like so. And you'll hear it kind of snap in there. And then I do try to pick at it to make sure. Get a little, little bump. All right, that's number one done. So, uh, yeah, right when you think it's easy to go or hard to go, it gets easy. Safety glasses, though, were because uh, were put on because last time when I was disassembling it, I first time I ever did it and uh, had it right in front of me on the ground, that spring shot out of there because I was compressing the whole strut. This way, I actually jacked up the bike and let all the pressure off the front end so the shock dropped down, hence making it a lot easier. So. Now I'm going to try the other side. I'm doing the other one here, and it's a little bit, I don't know why, tighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's for some reason and I can't really get up here that well. So I'm not sure why I'm not getting decent compression on this thing. There we go. So a little bit of manhandling. And then I'm gonna pick in here with this flat screwdriver. And try to dig it out of its groove. Again. There we go. Oh, lost it. Okay, there it is. A little compression and this o ring is obviously a little bit tighter than the other side, so we can get some pliers real quick as I wander around here. I had some, obviously, very well organized. All right, I'm just use a long needle nose and uh, grab that. There we go. <clears throat> and again, pull out the the big spacer here, which is a little bit tight. Okay, Oops. that was kind of odd. Um, Move down in there. Hook my spacer or. And pull out this strut shock. Get rid of this. Put in a new one. Put the spacer on top. And there's no orientation. The stock ones had a little bit more compression here, a spring. These are about the same. Okay, so washer is flat in there spacer on top and then we just go in reverse make sure this o-ring is good seems to be and get my clip ready compress that a little bit 
You just start with the back side, compress it. And there we go. All right. And now, for the moment of truth, we'll see how it sits. I'm going to lower this and we'll see what happens. I'll try not to drop the bike. And then I'm going to tighten up my straps real quick so I don't go the bike over. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Not too much of a pain in the neck, but it uh, worked out real well. And then I'll have to see about fluid. I had fluid in there, uh, put into what I thought was the ratio, saw formula online. Uh, not really sure, but I think I'm going to contact uh, Sport Evolution on Monday, call Germany and say, hey, what do I need to do? How much fluid to put in for these? So uh, I think that'd be pretty helpful. Speak my German again and try to figure out the words for fluid and um, compression ratio. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll figure that out and I'll let you guys know. Thanks. Goodbye.